This past Saturday, Syracuse traveled to historic Homewood Field in Baltimore for a rematch against the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays, whom they defeated in last year's NCAAs. That goal by Jamie Archer gave Syracuse a 14-13 fourth quarter lead. But the game was tied for the 11th and final time on the one-on-one -on -one move by Terry Reardon. Then, with a minute and 42 seconds to go, and Syracuse star Tom Marichek serving an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, Adam Wright beat Chris Saran high and in the upper right-hand corner to give Johns Hopkins a 15-14 win. Super Sports, a production of Adelphia Cable Communications, presents Syracuse University Lacrosse. And tonight in the Carrier Dome, it's the Adelphi Panthers with a record of 2-3, and three, beating the 2-1 and one Syracuse Orangemen. Hello again, everybody. I'm Dave Cohen along with Dale Drypulcher. The Adelphi Panthers are few in number. They only dress 21 players in a sport in which you have 10 players on the field at a given time. But uh, over the years, Adelphi has played a number of teams tough, Dale, including Syracuse, beating the Orangemen back when they had the Gates in 1987. They've been willing to play Syracuse year in, year out. They dominated Cornell in recent years, Hofstra down on the island. So this is a, a school that is capable of playing good lacrosse. They really are. They get a lot of talent from Long Island, downstate New York. But you're right. They did upset Syracuse. It was a shocker. And, of course, nobody expects that to happen tonight. But they a little undermanned. But, Dave, they're a good lacrosse team and I think they'll, they'll force Syracuse to play them hard. Let's check the record to date and the season to date for Adelphi University. They have played all five of their games at home, lost to Maryland, they lost also to Cornell and Brown, the wins over Radford and Cal Berkeley, so not much in the win department. But again, Adelphi from the talent-rich area of Long Island, and they have a couple of people that can possibly cause Chris Saran, the Syracuse goalie, a couple of problems. Well, Calabria, one of their attack when he's a big kid, he's got 20 points, 17 goals, doesn't do a lot of assisting, but he does throw the ball in the hole, so you got to watch him. And I think Syracuse defense is looking to bounce back a little bit uh, from when we had them the first game. We thought they did such a great job. They haven't been bad, but they've made some mistakes, and it cost them a little bit down to Hopkins, I think. Well, in that opening game, we remarked about the defense uh, being maybe the hallmark of this Syracuse team, how aggressive they were in shutting down North Carolina, but maybe they're a little bit too uh, over-exuberant at times and taking unnecessary penalties. Well, I think one thing, that they are an aggressive defense, and they are going to take penalties, but I think you're right. On occasion, they have made some uh, mistakes that they wouldn't normally make, so they're looking to play a little bit more controlled defense, I think, but I think that they're going to play the same tough style. All right, Dale, the Syracuse season to date, they opened up with a win over North Carolina. Then they defeated Yale here at home, and Yale did play them tough for a long stretch in that game, and then the loss on the road at Johns Hopkins. Well, one of the things I think, especially about the Hopkins uh, loss, most of the people that, that I've talked to felt that this is really a good game to have, especially on a Wednesday. they got a big tournament coming up this week. They needed something to get away, get focused again, get their mental energy up, and they think this is the place to do it. So uh, they may come out smoking tonight. Well, the laser, Charlie Lockwood, broke out of his early season shooting slump with uh, a number of goals down in Johns Hopkins. So we'll look to see if he can continue. And Tom Marichek held to just one goal by Johns Hopkins. He'll obviously be looking to rebound. I think a lot of the players are frustrated, especially Tom Marichek. Uh, the coaches felt that that was the case. And uh, let's look for a little difference of attitude tonight. All right, Dale, we'll be back with the opening face of Syracuse and Adelphi coming up next. We are back with you in the Carrier Dome. Adelphi getting set to play their first road game of the year. Syracuse after the trip to Johns Hopkins back in the Dome. The referee tonight is a Syracuse alumnus, Tom Abbott. Jim O'Hara is the umpire. Nate Foote, the field judge. Phil Natoli will be the bench official. Now here are the present rankings. Johns Hopkins on the strength of their win up to number one. Syracuse, which had been expecting to be elevated to number one after the loss, though, drops to three because Loyola had a big one over North Carolina. Princeton, fourth. You don't see Yale in the top ten, but they were a pretty good team when they were here a few weeks ago. There's Kevin Sheehan in his first season as the head coach, succeeding Paul Doherty. And Roy Simmons. We're out to begin the game with the opening faceoff, Bob Fazy for Syracuse. Number 35, contending there against John Del Olio, and it is possession to neither team for the moment. Free ball. And now it is Adelphi picking it up, and the Panthers, Brown and Gold are on the move. That's a legal check out of the stick of Ranby. The goalie who is now retreating, trying to get in position. Jamie Archer can't pick up the loose ball. 
And back comes Syracuse. That ball dropped. Delphi very aggressive here in the early going. Syracuse unable to maintain possession, and the whistle stops play. It'll stay ball for Adelphi. Play on was called, and of course that'll be on Syracuse. So Adelphi, nice job there. Had a man open. Looked like they might be able to get a fast break, but it didn't work. There's the series record. On the inbounds, this is Bill Robertson. Ball mishandled, perhaps some opening game jitters there by Adelphi. Defense being applied by Colsey for Syracuse, or Beardsley, that is. Rick Beardsley. Making the move for Adelphi is Kieran O'Brien. Now deliberate. Panthers. On the move back there is Gary Ray. His two brothers, Scott and Jeff, also played lacrosse at Adelphi. Here's the move to the cage and the pass across the goal mouth. Is it a shot? No, it's a pass and Syracuse gets it. Brian Tully lost his footing in his stick, allowed uh, Delphi to get a little bit of a break, but they could not capitalize and lose possession. Syracuse ball. And they'll send it back to the keeper, Chris Soran. Out to midfield on the exchange now. See all the brown shirts, they're doing a nice job of forcing this long pass. Dom Finn sending it to the defenseman Beardsley. He had a goal last week. It. He's coming in unimpeded. He scores. <laughs> Nobody picked up the defenseman. He came right down the middle and he scores. I think Rick that's goal Beardsley. number two for Beardsley. I think he picked one up last week against Hopkins. So watch the freshman as he streaks down the sideline. Rick Beardsley, watch. See, he stopped it with a body. Nice job. Controlled it. When the bounce came up, he picked it up with a stick. Now, nobody's got him. Everybody's taking another man. Leaves him wide open with a goalie. You can see what kind of a jump you can get as a defenseman. And that's going to be the first goal of the game. one nothing. Four shots on the year and two goals now by Rick Beardsley. Tom Gilmartin was out to take the face. That was a legal check, which dumped the Adelphi player. And now picking it up is Rob Hall, but he loses it. Delphi with only 21 men in uniform. Here's Tully coming back. Nice feed up ahead, but mishandled down low by Marichek. Syracuse picks up the loose ball with Finn. Will he feed? He does, and Syracuse scores again. Nice assist. Nice looking assist. Matt Ryder, number four. There's Dom Finn. Dom Finn out of Yorktown makes the behind the back pass and Ryder right there to dump it in. Nice looking pass. The behind the back variety out of the textbook of Tom Marichek. Here's the third face. Three faces for Adelphi. And Syracuse looks like they'll get it back. Thorpe in there trying with a big stick. Trying to control it, scoops it out up in the air. There's Lockwood, number 22. Quick feed ahead. There's a two on one at the cage. Good defensive play back there for Adelphi to deny the shot. Now Adelphi down 2 0. They get it to midfield. They're having trouble possessing the ball. An unsettled situation. They beat Tully. Save. And saves it. He'll come out of there, being pursued for the moment by Calabria. A lot of bounce passes in this game in the early going. Reggie Thorpe now. He looks to give it up to a smaller stick and head back. Lockwood has it. Boy, there have been a lot of unsettled situations. And Freddie Amaya is going to come in, running with that first midfield unit now after injury to Kramer. Up top to John Barr. With a fake right and a move left and a low shot deflected out of bounds, Syracuse will keep it. We're in the opening three minutes of play, and Syracuse already leads it two to nothing. You see him going through the box, get some other people on, some Matthews defensive people. And Abshire departed. Marichek controls it from behind, works on Brad Salstrom. You hear him say easy, Brad. Solstrom is the defense. His name is Brad. Don't get beat out there on 
Maracek. And they got it back up by the midfield. Here's Barr. He beats his man up top. He's coming in for the score. John Barr makes it a three to nothing game. Syracuse on top of Adelphi with 11-11 to go in the first quarter. John Barr, his fourth goal of the year. What? What's it say? Watch Barr. He's right-handed. Now he goes left-handed. He fakes the man out, but watch what he has to do. He doesn't want to take the left-handed shot. He brings it back around right-handed. And after the move, he gets a nice wrist shot down low. You know, Dale, number 44 there, Robert Hall, the way his leg twisted on that reminded me for a moment of the unfortunate uh, accident suffered by Ricky Kramer. He got faked out and he just twisted his leg. But uh, obviously he's okay. A goal by John Barr, and Zurich is out to a 3 nothing lead. That's a, that's a good timeout for them. They want to make sure they don't... Uh, they don't want to get away from it. Don't let it get away from them, I should say. Orange men will be home again on April the 4th against CW Post. Here's a look at the winningest active lacrosse coaches, Jim Adams of Virginia, topping the list. Boy, he's been at it for quite a while. Yes, he has. Very likable guy down in the number three spot, Carl Runk from Towson State. They were here. In Made it to the championship game last year against North Carolina. And of course, the Central New York contingent of Richie Moran and Roy Simmons, who will be meeting in uh, a couple of weeks. You know, there's an interesting stat here as they go out, there have been three faceoffs. All three have gone to Adelphi, and uh, three goals have gone to Syracuse. It's one of those times in those statistics, a bit misleading. At Hopkins, Syracuse had problems controlling the faceoff. And it cost them. One of the factors, I guess you could say. There were a number of them, but that was one of them. Tom Gilmartin to take it for Syracuse. Gilmartin getting a little more time in. He's out there against John Del Olio. And once again, Adelphi takes the face. Beautiful stick check away. It's a pass to nobody. Maracek was closest to it only because of his hustle. And Ramby gets it up to midfield. Nice now look. across to a big stick defenseman. They feed the crease. They had the shot. They didn't take it. Did a nice job of sliding there. The defense did a nice job in an unsettled situation of picking people up. They knew the guy with the big stick didn't want to take the shot with somebody on him. They may regret that. They're down three to nothing. They've only had one shot really on Cage. Here's Bill Robertson. To Burn Reed, one of the defensive middies in, and look at the look at the attention he gets. Helped out by Gil Martin. There's the move by Tom Aiello. And with it now is Paul Vlakos. Vlakos drawing uh, some big stick attention there by the defenseman, Sean McGowan. And it is now Tom Gil Martin's ball. He comes up field with a four on three, and he gets the return. Great save made by Ranby. Absolutely. And he outlets it to midfield. Wide open game. Adelphi trails three to nothing. The Burn Reed tries the one hand oh, check. Oh, pretty good move nice. and a great shot. And that was just a great effort on the play. By Bill Robertson, he beat two defenders, and then he beat Saran with a nifty shot. Watch to Burn Reed right here with the one-hand check. Now, when he misses this, he's out of position. There's nothing he can do. Now, the defenseman slides, looks, goes for the stick. That's a great move by Roberts. Just a great move. He got him going for the stick, brought the stick back in, and then put it down. Low shot, goal number one for Adelphi. Even on the replay, Dale, it looked like he was behind the goalie. Yeah, and he, you, of course you can. You, the body can get behind. Don't forget, you know, you got that four foot of stick there you can bring back out and that's exactly what he did. Syracuse uh, picks up face off number one. Yep, first face off that Syracuse has won and with it now is Roy Colsey. Colsey comes in, he's taken down. Lost the ball then the stick. Maracek swiped at it. Colsey hits the deck. Maracek thought he had it. Maracek picked it up <laughs> and put it this on. This will be a game. race. Stays Syracuse. Now Adelphi has an argument, and they are successful. It's going to be a Delphi ball. Ryder was running, and one of the things, you can't go over that end line, and I think that's exactly what happened. Now they got people changing. 
Adelphi trying to clear. They didn't have enough people on, and now they got somebody up by the box. Robert Hall gets Hall. it across. You got to get it across in 10 seconds. Here comes Hall showing uh, some pretty good legs. He may get the return. He does. Coming in now, 34 for the first time, Blakos. And Hall gets it back. Very, very deliberate Adelphi attack. They have to be because they just do not have that many people to run up and down the field. You just heard him yell four corner. I don't know if you heard that. Four corner is very similar, I'm assuming, to the four corner offense that's run by uh, the ACC basketball teams on occasion, where they spread people out and cover those both wings, the top and behind, and that's the four corners you've got covered. Dale, you're living in the past. It was UTEP that ran it last week. That's right, yeah. Eight minutes and 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. Syracuse leads at 3 0. Boy, the ball has been on the ground a lot. It's a live ball. Maybe it's a Mexican jumping bee. Yeah, let's <laughs> see, what are we going to get? A, we get a, yeah, that'll be. A little love tap there at the end from Thorpe across the face mask of Lakos. Let's see if we can. There's the, there's the slash. And he gets them right here, too. Yeah, you could have called any number of those, and uh, Jim O'Hara just picked the first one he saw that he liked and uh, called it. So it'll be first man up opportunity for Syracuse, first man up for anybody, and the ball has been very unsettled both ends of the field. Syracuse up by 3-1. to one. Tom Marichek really hasn't had a quality shot yet in the game. John Barr mishandling. Now they go Marichek's way. Feed it across. Here's the laser. Charlie Lockwood. And it is a four to one lead for Syracuse. As Lockwood gets his fifth goal of the year, he's now taken 25 shots. Pass over the cage. Seal now 29 is going to try to get out and get stick to stick, but Seal 29 can't. And you see the why they call him the laser. Even in slow motion, that thing got there very, very quickly. And that's goal number four. Syracuse. One for one and the man up. Andy Pusha out to take the face this time. Pusha doesn't get it. But now he has it. Yeah. Now he loses it. With it now, Calabria. Their leading scorer, 20 points, 17 goals, and three assists. Back he goes to Gary Ray, number four. He doesn't see the man coming on. That's Reggie Thorpe. Yeah. Reggie was about to unload on him. It's a delayed call coming up against Syracuse. And a save by Saran. Pretty good defensive job by Andy Bolin. That'll be Boland, I think, for the slash. I think that's who they called it on. So it'll be man up. So Andy Boland is going to draw a minute and the first man up opportunity for Adelphi. So bo both teams have had the ball down. Both teams now beneficiaries of a man up. Now let's see how Syracuse plays it. The man down situations hurt them down at Hopkins. You know, in talking to some of the coaches, they said it was even the loss of possession calls that hurt even more than the actual time served man down. That's a thrown away ball. That was a pass that was thrown away by Vlakos. And uh, Vlakos handled the ball just about every time in that extra man opportunity. He was the point man, even though he was on the wing more so than out front. You see the clear here what they're going to try to do. They're going to double the ball. They're going to try to put people on the ball for Syracuse to use time. And now we're just going to get a sprint as they bring it over. That's Doyle, Mike Doyle. And here comes Lockwood saved by Ranby. He's had a couple of point blank saves already. Steve Ranby. Syracuse four and Adelphi one. On the move now, Casey Donegan. Roy Simmons getting everybody into the act early. Here's Marichek. Will he go behind the back? Switches to the left, and he scores. You don't expect that from Marichek. He gets the goal. 
5-1 now Syracuse. Well, there's not much he can't do. As you said, Donegan in, looks, feeds. Now he goes like he's going to take that and come back. No, he switches. He gets a push right there. Now he comes around left-handed, and he just felt that pressure. That's the experience. He knew exactly how much that guy was going to do when he pushed him that he would be away. He just wheeled and fired left-handed. Now to get that uh, statistical work out of the way early. One goal and 46 of the last 47 games. Reggie Thorpe. Well, he's playing well. There's a vacuum cleaner down at Hopkins in the ground ball department. They feed the weak side and an off speed shot by Steve Bettinger. That was kind of a change of pace shot. And it goes to 6 1 now. There's uh, Lockwood takes a little bit of a face mask. He gets doubled. Does he find an open man? He certainly does, but they slide out to take Bettinger. Bettinger makes no move. He just quick sticked it, and that was all she wrote as Vlacos came out to guard him. But you know, Dave, you talk about the amount of people they're playing. They got this fleet invitation coming up at Brown Stadium featuring four top 11 teams. You got Loyola and Syracuse, Brown and Duke. And when you're playing two games in two days, it's nice to have some depth, give them some experience, give them a chance to play. And I think this is exactly what you're seeing out here tonight. Bob Fazy won the face stays on, keeps control for the Orange. Bettinger with it now. Manor just scored the goal. Well, they got a jump coming out of the box, but uh, they don't see it. Now Marichek off a Ryder's pick. Oh. Still with it. Still with it. Loses it. It'll be a man down for Adelphi. We're going to get a trip, and uh, that's going to cost Selstrom a minute. There's the push, and then watch the trip. Right there, he takes him down with the stick. And so that'll cost Adelphi a minute. Syracuse gets second opportunity now for a man up. And to the penalty box goes Brad Solstrom. He is a senior from Nanuet, New York. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. The Orange look to build on the 6-1 lead. And just as we say it, Charlie Lockwood delivers it. 7-1 now Syracuse. Second goal for Charlie Lockwood. Feeding from behind right over the top of the cage. It's a long pass. Let's see how long a shot it is. He takes it from what, the 25? Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20 yards. And he rips the nets. 15. That's 45 feet. Some string music by Charlie Lockwood. Right. Syracuse. Gil Martin taking that face. Yep. Here he comes. He may go coast to coast. He does. He scores. Another unsettled situation. Ranby not able to come up with a big save. And they've been peppering him. That was a shot number 12 for Syracuse. That's enough for Kevin Sheehan at Adelphi. They want a timeout. Down 8 to 1 with 4.50 to go here in the first quarter. Absolutely no defensive help. No. Gil Martin just out, out racing everybody. There's a lot of a lot of team speed here. Look, he's picking up yards on the first guy, and then he takes the shot and just goes down low. And that's a, see, that's a tough one. You, you hate to say that he should have stopped that, but if Randy could have come up big, it might have given him some confidence. But they are in a bit of defensive trouble, and right now Kevin Sheehan calls a timeout with 4:51. We, we saw a great example of it earlier, Dale, with Beardsley. Got that ball and went the entire length of the field, and nobody, but nobody, made a move to stop him. You know, we've seen it happen with the goalies before, too. Uh, everybody's saying, well, I'll pick up this guy, and, and, and everybody is supposed to pick up somebody, but somebody's got to pick up the guy going in the hole, and uh, they didn't do it that time. Syracuse with eight shots in the goal, and Adelphi with three shots on the goal. Well, they're gonna they're gonna give a new goalie a chance. Kevin Tyson warming up. He won't need to warm up too much on the sideline. They'll have plenty of rubber fired his way here in the game. Randby is out. Six two hundred and eighty five pound senior is gonna be replaced. No, he's not. Nope. 
That was a lie. They lied to our producer, too. I think there's a fine for that. <laughs> Ranby has uh, been kind of uh, by himself on a lot of occasions with unsettled situations, and Syracuse able to take accurate shots. Here's Gil Martin. Ball is rolled back and played by Adelphi. The Panthers' Bill Robertson has number 11. Robertson again. Four and a half to go in the first quarter. 8 1 Syracuse. You got to look at what it looks like from behind. The end zone look, all the moves. Problem is he's not getting any help. Nobody's breaking. He's just doing it himself, and they're taking up a lot of time. Of course, that may be the strategy. Stick checked away by Colsey. Pretty good speed exhibited there for Syracuse by Todd Stratton, 31. Picked up, however, by Adelphi. Well, they're fighting for every ground ball. Thorpe comes over and protects the sideline, blocks anybody out, and it'll stay Syracuse ball. Get a look at the substitution area as players check in and out. Got to go through that box. They do, and uh, they're able to get their big stick contingent on. Big stick man for Adelphi, 29 seal. Here's Dom Finn with a good one-on-one -on -one move, switching hands, coming to the left, and the score by Dom Finn. A man who knows how to finish. Yes, Finn. The uh, nice little spin move goes with the left hand, takes it down low, and Ranby right between his legs for goal number nine. It may be a long evening, Dave. Let's see, what gives you that idea? <laughs> yeah, I like to opt for the conservative side, but. Uh... Here's Gil Martin. Andy Bolin, 25, into your picture. Also, there is Andy Seal. And it's kicked back to Todd Stratton. On the redirect, here comes Chris Saran. He may try to come up field for a shot in this game. They tell me Saran's getting better with every game. His outlet passes look better than from the first time we saw him. He appears pretty confident. Steve Bettinger behind. 9-1 Syracuse first quarter. Here's Ryder. Ryder look at that first. Dodge and Ryder on the score. 10-1 Syracuse with three minutes to go in the first quarter. Blade, the, the defenseman, 25. See, goes for the stick and then watch him come back. Look at the speed right there. How much he increases his distance between the guy defending him and then protecting his stick. He goes left handed down low. I thought the defender there waited a long time to use his stick. Well, you know, he lunged and he was, what he's waiting for is to see that opening when he brings the stick back and he's hoped to get a hit on the head and knock the ball out. Head of the stick, that is. Randy. Comes up to the near side. Taken there by Craddleville. Now at 2.45 to go in the first quarter. Adelphi. And a gorgeous shot. And a goal for Adelphi by Ricky Matthews. They've had two goals, and they have both been beauties. Yep. Unsettled situation. Watch Matthews come down the sideline. He's going to get it right there. That's 23. He brings it down in front. Nobody picks him up. Watch him go, 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 go. And at the last minute, look at it. He's almost, what did he have? Maybe an inch? Just not even that. Great shot. And one thing, they couldn't get maybe a little closer to the pipe on that as Saran was trying to run and follow him. Couldn't get and cover that pipe. Great shot and a great look at it. 10 to 2 now as Lockwood commits the violation. Syracuse out a little early out of the restraining line, so it'll stay a Delphi ball. The 
Delphi trying to put back to back goals on the board. Saran on the outlet to Lockwood. He's got a man running on his left. That's DeBurn Reed. And Lockwood takes it all away. A save and a second save. Lockwood is knocked <laughs> into the crease. Yep. They're going to call an illegal screen. Pick, if you will. So it'll stay Syracuse ball. We still have two minutes and 11 seconds to go in the first quarter. John Barr now. That's Marajek who hasn't scored. Or has he scored? Yeah, yeah he's he got, got one. He got right. one. Oh, what a give, but it was over Barr. Played back there by Lockwood. Now oh. Marajek intercepted. Intercepted nicely by Brad Salstrom. Amaya going to get called for a push. Amaya taking uh, Kramer's place. Syracuse a lot of depth, unfortunately. They had to use it early in the season as Kramer went down with that knee injury and Freddie Amaya, who is no stranger in knee injuries, is running with different groups tonight with the first. Fair to advance. 22 to go in the first. 10-2 is the score. Syracuse on top of Adelphi. Lockwood uh, looking to get the ball over. Stay on sides. They send a big stick over with it. Pat Kugavan, number 18, was the man with the big stick. Here's Steve Bettinger now. So defensively, you got Stratton and Kugavan. That's Cranaville on him. Wide. Marichek. Barr with the goalie Ramby out of his cage. And Ramby with a good save. And a vicious check on Bettinger. That was a, I mean, that was a cross checker. He's in the crease now. Bob Absher connecting and unloading on Bettinger. Let's see. Let's see if we can see there. No, that looked to be a good hit. Oh, a double hit. Yo, that, that. I was looking at the one on the right. I didn't <laughs> see the one on the left. Panthers getting two for the price of one. <laughs> That's right, two, two. All right, Stratton in defensively. Also, Kugavan in for Syracuse. Ball is in the goalie stick. Now they cheap it up to midfield and they get it across and they lose it. And McGowan overruns it with Barr. Neither can control. <laughs> Must be something slippery on that ball tonight. Here's Mike Doyle giving ground. 28, Pete Linglip. And the crowd likes this action by Doyle. But we won't get another shot. The first quarter has come to an end with Syracuse in the driver's seat, leading Adelphi 10 to 2. We're back after these words. Now the second quarter of this Syracuse Adelphi lacrosse game. About to begin with a face-off, Dave Cohen and Dale Drypulcher from Super Sports in Syracuse. And here is Tom Gilmartin, number 44, out to take it for the Orangemen and Bill Robertson for Adelphi. Two goals for Charlie Lockwood and Matt Ryder in that first period. Marichek had one, so did Barr, Gilmartin, Finn, and Bettinger. Robert Hall shoots and scores. And Adelphi draws first blood here in the second quarter. Now 10 to 3. All of these have been in unsettled situations. And uh, he just sprints. He got Syracuse was beaten out on top. And uh, Winship slides over to try to help out. But Saran beaten low. And the goal will go to Hall. 
Another face off. Let's see, call right away by Tom Abbott. Procedure against Adelphi, so it'll go Syracuse. Syracuse brings the ball up. Dom Finn sends it behind. That goal by Robert Hall, by the way, was his eighth of the year. Syracuse leads it 10 to 3 in the opening minute of the second quarter. The one on one move, and that shot that went high and wide by Sullivan. Where is it? Manby gets it out of there in a hurry. Look out. Good give. There's a three on two. And a pretty goal for Adelphi. Nicely done by the Panthers. John Calabria, number seven. Congratulated uh, Kerry Ray on the uh, on the assist. He just is all by himself there. It was an unsettled situation. He got loose on the crease. All of the Adelphi goals have been off of fast break or unsettled situations. So they claw back 10 to 4. Adelphi with back-to-back -back goals. Gil Martin, the face-off man, gets the ball. Nobody plays him, so he shoots, and it just bounced over Randby's stick. Syracuse backed up by Jimmy Archer. That's happened repeatedly tonight. The face-off man coming unimpeded right down the middle. That's right, or one of the wing guys picks it up and goes in and leaves somebody in the dust. Nice move. Donegan. Oh. Taken away from him, but last touch by Adelphi, so Syracuse will have it. Well, they lost the ball off of uh, stick, so Syracuse brings it from behind. Sullivan for Syracuse. Sullivan lost it, and it's picked up there by Karen O'Brien. Another fast break. He gets it Ball back. down. Colsey applying some pressure. Ray. Thorpe. O'Brien took his eye off it and Thorpe dumped him. They're going to call a hold, uh, just lost of possession. I like this kid. Uh, he yeah. is aggressive. Rapidly becoming a crowd favorite, Reggie Thorpe. He has a name like a hockey enforcer, doesn't he? He was a wrestler, too, in high school. He's. Uh, well, I know that. He yeah. must be a favorite of yours. Oh, yeah. I know how you like wrestling. Let's look at the stats. You see the shot 17 to 3 in that first quarter. There's a loose ball that was picked up in front there. And Calabria at the end line saves it. But DeBurn Reed comes away with it for Syracuse. Sprintman. <laughs> Running past Robert Hall and still going. <laughs> Not much on the shot by DeBurn after he went about 80 yards. <laughs> There's a guy who's had some ups and downs. He's one of those guys had some silly penalties in some early games, but uh, he's a real good athlete with good wheels, and you saw what he could do there. Casey Donegan thought he had the angle for that shot. 10 to four, Syracuse leading Adelphi. Vienna in the game for Syracuse, and he gets it now. Pusha, number five from Tully. Still with it, and that shot is an easy save for Ranby, who's on the run with Fiena pursuing. Everybody likes to see the goalie go out because they want to see him get a hit. Now Ricky Matthews has scored a goal earlier for Adelphi. Is that why they get all excited? They want to see the goalie get hit or sure. see him shoot? Well, you know, it depends. I think people want to see him get hit because he's normally not out there mixing it up. And when he's sprinting like that and everybody's all charged up, I think they want to see him get hit. Here's Bob Abshar. He scores. Coming off his screen, Abshar gets the goal, his fourth of the year, and Adelphi has scored three unanswered goals. There's the 
beats right out there. That's Fietta. And then Fietta tries to recover, but he's point blank on Saran. A lot of face-offs, a lot of ground balls. We've had eight face-offs, 16 already, eight by each team, and we're just into the second quarter. Pusha in there fighting for it, but can't get the handle. Fiena. Oh, nice kick. Blakos, they took it from him, and Marichek almost found the upper right-hand corner. Nice check by Archer. New bodies come in on the fly. O'Brien with a pass. Adelphi with a couple of more goals can legitimately climb back into this one. They were down 10 to 1, weren't they? Yeah, I was. Uh... They started right off in the first seconds of the second quarter. We got 10.54 left. It's a regular score fest. Syracuse using lots of different players. Niels Haugen now on the move. Kusha on him. Tully trying to stop Gray. Tayello with it. Back outside now to Solstrom. Make it Haugen. Niels Haugen with it. Every time they go out of that, that box, they start counting now. They're going to take their time, I think. I don't think they want to unless it presents itself, get into a running match. Ball down, nice check. McGowan, 27, got a stick out there. Knocked the ball down off of a stick from Adelphi, so Syracuse now has to clear. I believe that's Beardsley with the ball on the wing. You know, the clear used to be such a such a big part of lacrosse, and now with that 10 second rule, people just trying to get it back and makes them really hustle. Beardsley, 47, has scored Syracuse's first goal. Gives it up to Lockwood. He goes across. Barr, number 30, at the top of the screen. He plays Beardsley on offense. Now Marichek, the clear out for him one on one. Let's see what he's got cooked up. Almost tripped. There's the double. Now he's double and he gives it up. Amaya. Lockwood. Amaya again. Amaya's shot is low, but it's backed up by Syracuse, so they keep it. Maston Duno, number eight for Adelphi, guarding number eight for Syracuse. He's done a good job. This is Jamie Archer now. Tried to wrap it around. It's going to be Adelphi ball. Nice outlet. Bar stride for stride with Robert Hall. Here comes Ray. Ray with a screenshot and he hit the screener. Uh, he was in the, he was in the screener also was in the crease. That yep, was Abshar. Yeah, Abshar, you see him did it. Watch him put his legs up in the air. That's what the guy's there to scream, but boy, you don't want to take a shot. Watch him go up in the air. Yow, hit me anyway. <laughs> Bounce it up a little bit. Saran uh, way out of his cage, about 25 yards upfield. Now they're doing a nice job. Syracuse better get that. There they go. Winship. And a flag flying into the picture late. Unnecessary roughness on the Delphi. It'll cost them a minute. That was on Ricky Matthews. So Matthews is down for a minute. Unnecessary, let's see it. There's the shot. 
Oh yeah, and that was from behind. So it was a good call. Third man up opportunity for Syracuse. There are two so far of two. It has been a couple of minutes since Syracuse has scored. They had a 10 to 1 lead. It's now 10 to 5, and just like that, Boy, Tom nice. Baracek flicks it in to make it 11 to 5, his second goal of the game. Watch Bettinger on the pass, though. This is keeping your eyes open. Bettinger's looking for everybody to shift over and see how fast he can get the ball across. Is he open? He says, yes, he is. Bang! Look at this. Right across the goal mouth, right in the crease, right in the football's red zone there, and boy, they able to quick stick it in. First SU score this quarter, 7.54 left. So almost half of this quarter gone before Syracuse puts it in the hole. But this is a game where the punches can come in bunches. Yeah. And uh, Syracuse capable of putting a couple of goals on very quickly. There's Gil Martin who can't find where the ball is. Karen O'Brien with it. There's Saran a save. Down for the save. Now back the other way with Dom Finn. And Gil Martin. Finn on top has it. Finn cranks and scores. The aptly named Dom Finn. Ranby not really able to do much again on this. Nice camera cut, guys. Left hand shot, stick side, but it, he got such a hard shot off. Ranby was not able to react. It was just high stick side, and uh, Finn, two goals and an assist so far this evening. Schusler out for Syracuse on the face. Nice look. Nice camera angle, guys. Oh, almost picked it up with his hand there. Oh, look at that. Robert Hall got sandwiched. Tully was the bread on one side of that sandwich. Robert Hall was the meat in the middle, but he yeah. survived. Could have come out of that as lunch meat, but he came out <laughs> looking like yeah. some high-priced corned beef on that one. He escaped. Andrew Boland draws a triple team, gives it up to Beersley. He scored once, but he's looking to pass now, I think. To give back? No. Nice pivot by Boland and a great save by Ranby. Ranby turns, shoots, fast break the other way. Look at this. Nice sprint. Delphi playing with much more confidence. That is a number two out there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Tully gets beat over the head and then knocks it away, but shot has managed to get off. Nice look by Saran. What do we got here? Oh, there's a push on White, so it will come back. Watch Tully. Now, Tully's going to get beat. He goes over the head and just catches the head of the stick. But watch, the bounce was picked up again, and uh, however, there was a push, and that ball will be stay. Saran, three saves, five goals. You know, I asked you about number two. There is no number two on the roster. Ah, well, I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> I did ask that question before the game. Well, I'll tell you what, he just made a mistake and got the ball knocked out of his stick, so. You suppose he could be number 22? Yes. Tom Furman. You've done it again, Dave. When in doubt, just remove a digit. And That's right. It's usually that person. However, we still don't know who kicked that field goal to Pittsburgh <laughs> about Pittsburgh, five years yes, ago. Geez. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Dave Cohen and Dale Drypulcher. <laughs> there he here goes. Comes Chris Saran. Bounce feed. Saran's still coming. Knocked out of the stick of Bolin. That's a good job by Adelphi. I know what you're waiting for. I know what you're waiting. You're waiting for Saran to make a rap check, and then you're going to say it was. <laughs> no, no, I'm saving that for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't even say it. Ranby gets the ball off. Oh, oh. That, that that was a 
Oh, look at this. That's a look at that flag. Nice, nice call. Abbott slash. Watch, watch the head. Winship. Boom. Look at that. Yo. Even a second one. Nagawa just wanted to push it back in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting because the other official has to check for offsides, and he did not see that. That's why I believe that Mr. Rabbit threw that flag so far because he saw it and he called it. It was a good call, and everybody was in the right position. Adelphi down 12 to 5. Man up number two for Adelphi. They're zero for one at this point. Threw the ball away the last time on their man up. No, that was a bad bounce. Stay Adelphi, however. Let's get into his uh, Vlakos. That man is very active on the extra man or power plays. Here he is with the ball again. And one more time. Tough angle and a man in the crease after the shot. That was Calabria. There's the look. Tries to go across the crease. Makes the pass, but Calabria couldn't get it in. Syracuse is going to be double teamed because they're down a man uh, on the line. Nope. Too much time? Offsides. Syracuse was offside. Mike Doyle, number 23, trots back. Doyle's a junior from West Genesee. They just had a little uh, Philly Natoli, the bench official, called Jim O'Hara over, and they inadvertently started the game while O'Hara was on the conferring. So they'll confer some more. Interesting story about Adelphi. They are a Division uh, One school in Lacrosse. Next season, there will be a Division Two in Lacrosse, and the uh, NCAA, from what we understand, is trying to limit schools to one Division One team if if you don't play everything in Division One. And I guess there's some conjecture at Adelphi as to which of their teams will drop down from Division One to Division Two. Will it be lacrosse? Will it be soccer? Of course, in lacrosse, you have homegrown talent on Long Island. In soccer, you tend to have many more international players. Although so you would think from a recruiting standpoint, it's easier to get lacrosse people. And well, there's also a lot of Division good soccer one. players on Long Island, too, so I don't know. It might depend on if you're getting any revenue. Nice goal for Adelphi. Man Pretty up. goal. Yeah, that was unsportsmanlike. They changed that whole thing. Uh, I never got the full explanation. Tom Aiello gets it, number six. Aiello sneak. Watch him sneak from behind. They try to slide. He puts it down low. And so it goes to 12-6, and Syracuse going to take a timeout. The uh, defensive intensity... Not quite what it was in the first quarter, and at the same time, Adelphi is calmed down a little bit. So it's 12 to 6. We have 4.30 to go here in the first half. Syracuse leading it 12 to 6. Syracuse takes a timeout, I think, just to uh, regroup a little bit. They have been playing a lot of players. As I said, they've got that <clears throat> tournament coming up. That's a pretty good shot there that shows you, though, how many more bodies Syracuse has than yeah. Adelphi. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, graphic, and it's just a picture of it. Another Long Island school, the pioneers of CW Post in the next home action here in the Carrier Dome. You know where they got that name, CW Post? Serial? Yep. The Serial Magnate. CW Post. There's Kevin Sheehan. Got to be pleased with what he's seen recently. Uh, his team was 
in danger of really being run out of here, and uh, they've come back. They're still down by six goals, but they have played much better, and they've been playing much better defense, which is what killed them in the first quarter. Well, the Adelphi goals, too, have really been uh, works of art. Yeah, and a lot of them, as I said, unsettled one-on-one -on -one situations has not been the controlled, settled offense. See Adelphi leading in the faceoff department by one. Checking it, is that that's not Fazio? That's Fazio out there. You know, on the season, you know, he's got about 64% of his faceoffs. Is that Fazio or is it? Yeah, it is Fazio. Looks like he may have changed his footwear. So they lose that one. And Robertson has it for Adelphi. Now they're still down. That's a non releasable penalty. Calabria number seven. Robert Hall is 44. I think I said 40 seconds in this penalty, so it's another man up opportunity for Adelphi. Last time they ran a sneak from behind. Well, this time they throw it away. Second time they've done that in an extra man situation, Dale. Yeah, Ray right there seemed a little disgusted. I don't know if himself, I think he passed it where he thought the man was supposed to be and he did not cut. Consequently, the ball went right out. Syracuse is still a man down. I'm sure they will double team the ball. Charlie Lockwood has it, 22 on the far side. And they send it way back across the field to Stratton. Stratton out of Cougavan. He goes back across to Lockwood. Tully released across. Syracuse stays on side as Kugavan came across. Ryder to Maracek. They got a release yet? They should have had it. I thought they had a release. There they go. They're just changing people. They were released. Amaya lost the handle for a moment. There's his move. Well, he's running much better, isn't he? After that, uh, he had a devastating knee injury. Takes a low shot. The Hummer goes by. <laughs> of course, last year he had the big brace on his Right, leg. yeah. Boy, that's got to be awful when you use a lot of speed to try to run with that. Jamie Archer lost the ball. Ryder picked it up. Got a tap on the head. That's going to draw the flag. Here's a Maya to Barr. Barr to Lockwood. They want to get a good shot. But they lose possession, and now we get the penalty, and Syracuse will have the benefit of the extra man. So that will be on the brown color. Crotteville. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Cleaved his head. <laughs> I guess Adelphi has a pretty good trivia question. Can you name a team that wears brown jerseys and is not the Cleveland Browns or Brown University? Yeah. Here's your answer, Adelphi, the Panthers. That's the time remaining in the first half. Syracuse 12, Adelphi 6. Watch Marichek, keep an eye on him. Joe Martin. Martin gets it. Gil Martin got a little uh, his own cheering section here, and he just uh, takes a couple of steps and cranks it. So Ramby gets burned for number 13, and Gil Martin picks up his second. And it's 13 to six. These face-offs have been a hot contest, haven't they? There's Reggie Thorpe. Uh, Thorpe picks it up with a big stick. Sometimes that amazes me how they can do that. Thorpe on the give now to uh, Jeff Schusler, number 14. He's coming in for a bouncer. And Body save. Randy saved that one, but the rebound to Ryder. Jeff Roos is in the game, number seven. Marichek backing down his man. Oh boy, he's all over him. <laughs> nice. Nice control of the stick. 
And he still has it. He wants to shoot it. Oh, what a shot that was. And the fans are going to applaud the effort. Down to a minute and 40 to go here in the first half. Jamie Archer. Oh, Good foot save, save again by Randy off the shot of a Schusler. Nice check. Very nice job by Ryder. Nice job. He got that stick out there and just tapped the Adelphi stick, and uh, that was all she wrote. Syracuse retains possession. <laughs> a much, much more competitive second quarter by Adelphi. Syracuse in the minute 15 and the ball in the stick of Tom Marachek. Marachek drawing some company. It'll be doubled. He still has it. Oh, he fired it right off of Randy. Is that the big stick mini with the ball? Yeah. Oh, he hung it out there. And Archer took it away. They got it back and Tully. Knocks it free. Here's Beardsley with it up in the air. Calabria lost it. This is the way it's been all night. Aiello lost it. Now Calabria. I think it was Seal that the 29 was the guy who started it all off. He's going to come off and get replaced by an offensive guy. Thorpe wants the offensive media, media off and he wants to get in. That was just a bad catch there by Aiello. Here's Saran. Uh, they're going to pick him up. See, I told you they want to hit him. Look at him. Now he could give and go. A bloop feed out to Schusler. He took his eye off the ball. And time is going to run out here in three seconds. Three seconds. We'll take a long shot. You got to wait till Saran gets back in the goal. He was uh, running around down by the. Adelphi cage. And the long feed right on. And that is the end of the first half with Syracuse leading Adelphi 13 to 6. We'll have the Coors Light halftime highlights coming up right after this. Back with you in the Carrier Dome at the half. Dave Cohen and Dale Drypulcher, Syracuse leading Adelphi. 13 to 6 and Dale we thought Adelphi would come into the dome and, and perhaps give Syracuse a contest early on but the Orangemen just dominated things in the first quarter with a barrage of 10 goals. Got, got out early a lot of unassisted uh, ball down pick it up fast break goals started off by uh, Beardsley yep. the defenseman and then it was Finn feeding Ryder and Barr right down the middle that made it 3 nothing. Adelphi got one Syracuse went up 4 to 1. Marichek five to one. Lockwood six to one. Am I still with you? Lockwood to Bettinger seven to one. Here's Gil Martin eight to one. Tom Finn beats his man nine to one. And then we'll see Matt Ryder come from behind the net, and he will make it a ten to one score. Adelphi got one more, and that's how the first quarter ended with a 10 to 2 score. But to Adelphi's credit, Dell, they did play much, much better in the second quarter. Of course, Syracuse couldn't play much better than they did offensively. I think they had some problems in midfield defense. You look at the, the stats uh, 35 to 11 is a telling stat. Saves 11 to 3. Saran not hot yet. Faceoff's pretty close. Uh, we'll see if uh, they can make a game of it in the second half. So we have a halftime score of 13 to 6. We're coming back with more right after these words. Syracuse 13 and Adelphi 6 as you watch this game from Super Sports in Syracuse. Dave Cohen and Dale Drypulcher. Adelphi with only 21 players dressed for this game. And you've got to believe fatigue may be a factor You'd think, in the you? second half. Yeah, and maybe into the fourth quarter. Maybe they can do it through the third. Let's look ahead, Dale. There's Syracuse's tournament coming up this weekend. They'll have to play two games in two days, something you're not called upon to do uh, during the rest of the year. Of course, in the ACC, they do 
uh, play under those circumstances. Yeah, they do. That's the, their, their tournament format. So I think Syracuse uh, is using this game, and I don't mean to denigrate Adelphi, but they're trying to get a lot of people in because I think they're going to need a lot of people this weekend. So they're getting a lot of people in, and, uh, and they've got good quality players. So it's uh, picked right up where it left off, though. It's a ground ball fiesta out there, finally controlled by Adelphi. Now they work the ball quickly down into the offensive end of things. Let's see if Adelphi perhaps can score first here in the third quarter. Dragging the stick. In close by Delolio. And Syracuse comes away with it now. Gil Martin has had a very active game and he's had a couple of occasions where he's been able to waltz right in. I thought for a second he might try it again, but that pass yep. was a little bit too high. A new goalie in the game and some interesting footwear for Kevin Tyson. Oh. That was a legal check. He turned. So that will be. Uh, when they change it, it'll be Syracuse ball. Yeah. Some uh, clever banner makers uh, here at the Dome tonight. SU's got the writer one, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now Fred Meyer will pick up the ball and begin play. And here's Charlie Lockwood. He had two goals in the first half. Beats his man Hall. And look at that English on that ball after Tyson made the save. But Ricky Matthews can't handle the outlet pass. Turnover by Adelphi. Tyson, the sophomore out of New Canaan, Connecticut, six foot one sixty-five. As they Matthews lost the ball out of bounds, and Syracuse will not get a chance to test this defense. I'm gonna see if we can get a close-up of uh, the goalie's footwear. Here's John Barr and a. Overplayed pass into the stick of Tyson. That becomes a save, and Robert Hall off the outlet. The return of Lakos. A yellow number six had it. Syracuse still picking people up. Charlie Lockwood lost his man momentarily. He picked him up. Karen O'Brien is racing on now with Reggie Thorpe. One on one move and a weak shot backed up by a yellow. They draw Saran out. He got a stick on it. Oh, he's in the, he's, needless to say, he's in the crease. No, he got pushed. Let's see. This is interesting. The Saran's out. Now Saran races back. Watch this. Did get the stick on it. Good save. Thorpe. Robertson's attempted pass. Thorpe has got him tied up. Place. Follow the bouncing ball. Calabria does, and he owns it. Thirteen to six. We've gone about two and a half minutes without a score, which is the longest drought of the game. Save. A pipe. Rebound. Oh, nice all look. The way out about 30 yards. Didn't work though. Goes the other way. Unsettled. Tully playing defense. Number 41. Barr gets back in to play defense. Tully battling with O'Brien and Tully got it. Tully's a load. <laughs> He's a and big you guy. Notice how nobody is willing to get in front of him. So he gives it up to Lockwood. They feed the crease. Nice save. And there is Tyson saving Jamie Archer's shot. Nice save. Where's that footwear? It's those old uh, cons? cons. The old cons. The canvas cons. Well, he helped him pick up his second save there. There's Amaya. Fake left, go right. And Tyson looking very good. Third save. Bang, bang, bang. 
And now do you suppose the coach is saying to himself, why didn't I start this guy? Delphi moving the ball smartly now. We're four minutes into the third quarter and nobody has scored. You know, they started just checking uh, Winship not playing much and listed as a starter, but jump. Nice takeaway. Lockwood changing direction with the stick. Almost like a crossover dribble. Now with the right hand, Lockwood. Little wrist pass. And a Syracuse player stepped in. It was Marichek. I was just thinking since this uh, second half began, if this was a baseball game, you'd had four, six pitches gone by now. <laughs> hey, you're getting ready for the season, huh? <laughs> Ah. Back comes Hall of Lakos. He cranks, he fires. Look out in the lower stands. Whoa. That's why they don't let you sit back there. Yeah. It says, danger, do not sit here. What's he got hanging out? A couple of straps? Yeah, you can. That must be for effect. Yeah. Look at this. This is what it's been like all game. Hall lost it. Yeah, down. Pick it up, knock it down, lose it, pick it up. Calabria get lost it. Get knocked down. McGowan has it. Down. He goes down. A great sequence, right? Nice camera Stratton angle. gets pushed. And now Mike Doyle has it. Doyle, one Doyle, hands. He goes down. The body's all over the field out there. Back the other way we come. No pressure on Tyson, the goalie. Up to the midfield area. It's a defenseman handling it and handling it well. Even with a crease, but unable to get a shot away, is Furman. Tully's all over him. Oh. He kicked the ball to his goalie. Thorpe. Reggie Thorpe spells his name R E G Y, one G. A dangerous pass. Yeah. And mishandled by DeBurn Reed. Now you got the defensive midfield in already. DeBurn Reed and Reggie Thorpe. They're the ones that uh, took it away momentarily, threw the ball away. Thorpe did. So uh, Adelphi will clear inside the restraining line. Tyson gives it up on his wing. Back to Tyson. Kevin Vallade on the redirect. Now Vlekos. Couple of new players in the game now for Adelphi here in the second half. This is Vlekos again. Dave DeLillo starts his move, number 19. Here comes Aiello. <laughs> Nearly seven minutes into this third quarter, we haven't had a score. A lot of bodies down, though. Stays at Delphi. Eight twelve left, and uh, official time. We get people in and out. Listen to Chris Saran saying, "Watch behind, watch behind." Furman now. Rob Hall begins his one-on-one -on -one move. It goes by Pusha. DeBurn Reed has it. It's a <laughs> piggyback ride. <laughs> That should be a hold or a push. It'll be a hold. Did he get riding time? Away? Yeah, right. Watch. Right up on his back. Yo. <laughs> you see the, that was Hall doing the riding. Excuse me. So Syracuse will be man up for 30 seconds. 
Syracuse with the four for four and man up goals so far. This is their fifth opportunity. That's Colsey, the freshman. Marichek. A step through move and a nice save by Tyson. He has been brilliant here in the third quarter. He certainly has. A little behind the back move, too. Adelphi's Ricky Matthews. Moving with Archer. Matthews gets it back. Aiello with a poor pass. Adelphi, though, back to play it. Back to Aiello in the middle behind O'Brien. Regained by Syracuse. They whip it upfield in a hurry. Into transition. Bettinger and Finn cut to the net. Finn closest to it as it goes out. That was a shot. Yeah, that was Marichek. This may be some sort of record. The longest streak without a goal in the dome. Yeah, this is... Uh, I'd give Tyson a lot of credit. The goalie for Adelphi has got three or four saves. Eight and a half minutes without a goal scored by either team. Marichek, two out of seven in his shooting in this game. Here's Gil Martin. It was either deflected or took the high bounce. Marichek there to uh, save it. John Desco flashing signals. Kevin Sheehan is the coach of Adelphi. Dom Finn, boy, can he change directions quickly? Here's Bettinger. Well, I'll tell you what, Tyson was tracking that one. He was, uh, he really, I think uh, that was not on goal, but uh, he looks very good in there. That one got the side of the cage. Marichek again gets that ball back, being to the end line and being in the right place. So Syracuse retains possession. They give Adelphi a lot of credit here in this third quarter. Syracuse been peppering them. Ball down. That's Robertson pursued by Gil Martin. Tyson gets it upfield. Just beyond the reach of his man out of bounds. Syracuse will get it back. Tyson spells his name, his last name, T-H-E-I-S-S-E-N. Kevin Tyson, a sophomore out of New Canaan, Connecticut. He has played well since he came in. Kind of has that beach look, doesn't he? Yeah. Kind of a lacrosse player. They're kind of funky. Saran. And now here comes Fietta. Saran is from Wilton, Connecticut. And there's a goal. The first of this third quarter. Oh, it went almost, what, 10 minutes? Mark Fietta gets the goal for Syracuse. Watch, he's just a kind of a race. Now whether he can get that stick up, so he heads left, gets his stick up, and goes high on Tyson. Tyson trying to get it. This is a lower look. See how he holds that stick? Nice shot. Folks, good camera work. 14 to six Syracuse. 10 goals in the first quarter. Three in the second, one here in the third. This is one game where the faceoff statistic does not tell the story. Yeah, Thorpe. Here's Reggie Thorpe with it. He gives it up. And just like that, Syracuse has scored two goals. Seconds apart. Marichek takes a nice angle as Thorpe just sprints the big stick guy. Gets it over to him on the wing. Watch the bounce. Boy, look how hard that didn't even bounce. Reggie Thorpe got the assist. 
That was a hard shot by Marichek. He does have three goals in this one. Only one down at Hopkins. Overrun for the moment by Fazy, but here comes Thorpe. He gives it up to the wing. Nice oh. deflection in there. Syracuse is going for the hat trick within a minute. Good strategy using Thorpe out on the faceoffs with the big stick. As a wingman, he's able to come up. Say, Dale, we mentioned riding time and a couple of references to wrestling. Congratulations to Mark Kerr of Syracuse winning the national championship at 190 pounds. Tough road to hold, boy. He came on at the right time. Here's Bettinger controlling now for Syracuse. Great balance, huh? Ooh, nice pass. Fietta. Oh, he was high on the shot. That's the kind you hate to miss because of the great assist that set up that potential goal. There's the uh, long pass. Ball's going to be down. And a dangerous situation. If Bettinger can control it, he can. McGowan does a good job. Look at that feed. Nice save. Boy, that's a spectacular one. Who's that, Jamie Archer? Made the shot, but the man with the yellow cons comes up big. Oh, is that off the body, too? He didn't wear much. <laughs> he didn't flinch either. No. I'll have a little bruise there on that uh, calf. Robert Hall eludes the check of DeBurn Reed. Is he going to hang the Not stick? Not for yep. long. Yes, he does. Somebody lost the stick. Beardsley lost it. Stratton to Saran. Haven't seen much of Winship in this No, game. I have not, and I, I know he started, and I, I hope it's not any problem with the knee. Whoa, that was close. No, too close. Beardsley, Beardsley saw that he was going to be offsides, and he jumped, and it looked, at least initially, like he got back onside, but uh, that's not the call, and uh, Adelphi back with it. Syracuse 15, Adelphi 6. Saran nice save. With a save. He's getting a little better on stopping those rebounds. Syracuse hasn't allowed a goal here in the third quarter, have they? Toughen it up. Nice oh. grab and a wonderful shot. You guys are great athletes. That was just a great pull down by Bettinger of a real high pass and then Watch how quickly he gets rid of the ball. That's the Burn Reed, defensive guy, defensive mini. Watch high pass. Whoa! Up in the air. Fake once. Take it high. Nice look. And another timeout for Adelphi as Bettinger pours in goal 16. We have a timeout with Syracuse leading Adelphi now 16 to 6 here in the third quarter with three minutes and six seconds remaining. Buttinger two and one on the day as they talk to uh, the Orangemen. I believe just to the left of that huddle is uh, Ricky Kramer of Syracuse. There's Roy Simmons and I remind you that the next home action that you'll see on Super Sports. The pioneers of CW Post and the Orange Men of Syracuse. Well, Tyson has proved to be a formidable force there until they got to him with some point blank shots, but uh, give him some credit. Yeah, we're going to see. I think we'll get a shot of Ricky Kramer. In a second here as he limps off the field. Said he would be there in spirit and he's actually here in body tonight with a tough looking immobilizer on that left leg. There's Tyson in the cage.
16 6 we have three minutes to go in the third quarter. Faceoffs all even at this point that one will go to a Delphi make it 13 12 in their favor faceoff that is big stick out that seal. Yep. A yellow now feeling the big stick of Beardsley. Well he makes that big up up cut with that Furman. Now Thorpe, you know what Thorpe does? See number 10. He comes in, he just runs for the ball. A little out of position here. Oh, he got a stick on it. Yeah. Nice save. Ball Matthews down. tried the spin move. Lakos has it. Lakos with an unusual pass. It's not handled. Furman paid the price. O'Brien picks it up. Nice interception by of the pass. Saran starts it the other way. Finn fights off a check. <laughs> Finn is still going. Still going. This one little tough character. Yeah. Dom Finn trying to finish another one. Ball marked for play very quickly, and Bettinger's shot is saved by Tyson. What a job he's doing. The outlet and a nice one to O'Brien. Down it goes to Aiello. Back to O'Brien. They wait for the numbers. On comes Robertson. Beersley knocked it out of Aiello's stick, and here's Thorpe. Saran upfield. Minute Strat. 20 to go in this third quarter. Nice, nice looking passes. And now that's a that's the way to finish that off. Nice look. Started from the, the save by the goalie, the outlet pass, everybody running down and looking where they're supposed to. And then Doyle picks up a goal. Gil Martin made a nice pass to him and will pick up the assist, but that was just picture perfect. 17-6 now, Syracuse. With a minute and 16 seconds to go in the third quarter. Andy Seal, number 29. A yellow. Now Mastaduno, Rich Mastaduno, number eight. He's got it again. I was waiting for him to come in so you could do that name before I had to. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Kugavan 18 playing quite a bit as Beardsley takes the ball behind defensively. Nice look at the defense and the moves here as they watch see they're, they're, they're screening the goalie obviously they've been doing that most of this quarter running the one four one and trying to screen him Robert Hall splits the D and then he uh, shot it poorly nice look. to Duno has it with 10 seconds left third quarter time for one more shot perhaps and Stratton took it away intercepted oh. can he beat the clock save good look at it as Saran Stop that attempt as the third quarter comes to a close here in the Carrier Dome with Syracuse on top of Adelphi, 17 to six. So they blanked Adelphi in the third quarter. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after these words. Fifteen more minutes of lacrosse. Syracuse leading Adelphi, 17 to six. Syracuse led 10 to 2 after one quarter, 13 to 6 at the half, and they got the only four goals of the third quarter. 17 to 6. Chris Saran remains in the net, and Kevin Tyson had an excellent third quarter playing for Adelphi. A lot of new place names in the game. Syracuse's Andy Joyce, number 40. Nick Licamelli, 36, is in as well. Here are the numbers through three quarters. 
shots really come through there, 51 to 20. Face-offs pretty even, ground balls pretty even. Man up, Syracuse has had a good day, four out of five, one of three for Adelphi. And one thing we did notice, I think we have solved the John Winship mystery. He is on the sideline and uh, injured a knee. Looks like a big uh, ace bandage on the knee. We'll try to get a shot of him, but he injured that knee last year. I think it's the same knee. See the defense. Strat taking Winship's place. Well, Syracuse now the defense in the second half has now gone 16 minutes without allowing a score. It's got to be a point of pride for them. Absolutely. Nick Licamelli, number 36. They'll go cross field. Kugavan up ahead. You know, you talk about the defense, Dave. Saran had six saves and no goals in that third quarter. Schusler with it now. Minute and a half into the fourth quarter. And a weak shot saved by Tyson. Way up well, in the air on the rebound, and Licamelli pulled it down. John Winship has the uh, leg wrapped, but obviously able to walk around. I think. Kind of the crocodile Dundee look. Hurt that leg what last year against uh, North Carolina. It's an ugly looking injury. I think it was the left knee. Nice dodge on the sideline. An injured Syracuse player down as a result of that dodge. They're going to call a timeout and there was no chance of. That was Sean McGowan. Yeah. May have had the wind knocked out of him. He literally was faked off his feet. Well, he went for it out early. Way out up by the midfield line. Watch McGowan. No, I think he caught his. I think he caught his feet there, trying to shuffle his feet on the turf. And we've seen how dangerous that can be. So McGowan will come off. Twelve forty nine left. Syracuse with an eleven goal lead. Seventeen six. In the fourth. And now Syracuse trying to keep Adelphi off the scoreboard here in the second half. Furman is number two. Blakos thirty four is been quite busy throughout the game. Here's an attempt in close. They never did get the shot away, and back come the Orangemen with it. David Julian, 37. DeBurn Reed. Joyce with the dive. And a good hustle play by Joyce. Andy Joyce, number 40. He's a freshman from Henniger High School. Yep. Fiat, nine in. Also. Syracuse has Paul Sullivan on, number 21. Kusha with it. To Joyce, in the middle, Boland's behind the back shot. Backed up by Sean, uh, by Casey Donegan. Here comes Donegan again. And a nice save by Tyson. He has been impressive. And he goes to Vlakus. 
Paul Vlakos, a senior from Yorktown Heights. Seal with the big stick, not able to handle the pass, and it goes back the other way. Boucher leads them back. Boucher on the give to Donegan, now out front. The return to Boucher to the right hand, behind the back. Syracuse keeps. Andy Joyce in the middle, attempted in the middle. Donegan leaves it on the turf, and it's picked up by Joyce. He's really hustling. Open on the weak side was Sullivan, number 21. He signaled for it. A look away pass. Oh. That was Fiatta's <laughs> brought shot. The, brought the fans to their feet. 11 Good. minutes, five seconds remaining. Nice save. Just trying to get it out of there off of. And Joyce has got it. Now Fiera with Bolin to his left. In close. And Donegan. May Tyson throw the stick at it to try to stop it. And Casey Donegan scores for the Orange Men. So they finally get to Tyson here. After a flurry, they took some shots. Tyson trying to get his stick out on it. Almost got it. But he was a little upset because they said, geez, you left somebody open here on the crease. 18 to 6. <laughs> lost his stick. Faceoff man lost his stick momentarily for Adelphi. Furman, number two. Again, Adelphi has not scored here in the second half. Suppose if Syracuse has a shutout going in the last couple of minutes, he leaves Saran in. Yeah, I don't know who he who's actually next in line behind Saran. Comus. Comus is. We have just over 10 minutes to go. Adelphi has the ball. Ayello has it. Tom Ayello, number six. Stratton on him. Look at them all stacked up. See them all stacked up. Now they're breaking out of that. Flag down. So it will be a. I think it probably a, a 30 second hold. Yeah, it is. So now that'll make things interesting for the defense. They'll have to play a man down for 30 seconds. It's only uh, Syracuse's fourth man down. They've been averaging about 10, I think. The Yale game, they had 11. They had uh, 10 in the uh, in the Hopkins game. So below average in the man up situation or man down situation, I should say, for Syracuse. Timeout. Syracuse takes a timeout. So 9.52 to go in the game. A smiling Roy Simmons. What do you suppose he wants to talk about now, Dale? <laughs> Just how to finish off the game, what he wants him to do, and let's not get anybody hurt. Let's have some fun and get this one over with. Syracuse has had scoring from 11 different players, including defensemen Mike Doyle and Rick Beardsley. And it was Beardsley who opened up the scoring. That's our new name, Adelphia Cable Communications, 500 South Salina Street, Syracuse, New York, the home of Super Sports. Pretty nice crowd here in a evening. Midweek, Wednesday night crowd. Set for the face-off. No face-off. I should say there was a timeout for them. So it will be man up, so they will get the ball. Adelphi working it around. And a nice save by Saran. Saved only momentarily, yeah, however. Yeah, yeah, for the moment. 
it did get by him and ended up in the net. So Saran, Calabria picks up. Having allowed that goal will now depart. So I guess he was in there as long as he preserved the shutout in the half. Garrett Esposito going into the nets now. Garrett is a left-handed uh, goalie. Saran leaves with nine saves. Giving way to Garrett Esposito. Nine and a half minutes to go in the game. Withholding ball from play, and that will give Garrett Esposito a time to watch for a little bit as the sophomore out of Nottingham High School. Lives in Manlius, New York. I think he lived in the Nottingham area and then the family moved, but he stayed in Nottingham. And there's a goal for Syracuse. Very easy goal for Jeff Roos. Tyson not too happy with that one. Nice look as feed from behind by Todd Freeman and then uh, Bruce was camping right there on the front of the crease. And Roos comes up with goal number one for himself, number 19 for Syracuse. Schusler took the face off and he's in pursuit of it. The backup provided by <laughs> Sullivan. Nice looking passes. Nice looking assist. Todd Freeman back to put it in play quickly. Andy Joyce. Keeps his balance and he scores. Freshman out of Henniger High School right here in Syracuse. Comes up with his first goal. And he is a, a very happy man. Andy Joyce has been working hard since he got in the game. And right there. Off balance goal. Andy Joyce gets the first goal of his Syracuse career. That's why he was so happy. Quite an athlete, a football player at uh, Henniger High School, an All-American for Tom Acey in lacrosse, and now a guy who's gotten his first goal here at Syracuse. Now in the game and handling it, Mike Whitek. Lost. But he does the job. Good hustle, yeah. Whitek's another Connecticut product from Wilton, Connecticut, a freshman. It's a chance gets a lot of people to play. 20 to 7 is the score. You know, these guys work in practice every week. It's uh, nice to be able to get them in and play a little lacrosse. Good save by Tyson. Yep. He's a good one. He's a real good goalie. On the sideline, Adelphi warming up a third goalie, Jason Fox. Sometimes I think the thinking might be as you look at this ground ball is the defense gets a little tired. You only brought 21 guys. You don't want to get this guy Tyson peppered. He's done a really good job. Perhaps we'll see somebody else. But right now, the ball is on the ground, and Adelphi controls. Here they come, attacking the goal and scoring. Esposito gets beat on the goal by Rob Hall, number 44. That's his second. This is just a sprint. Kugavan slides over, but... He beats him stick side, the left-handed goalie, not able to get a stick on it. Kevin Sheehan, right on the right. This 
is the kind of action we had early in the game. A push is the call. George Clements is in as well now, number 32 for Syracuse. He's a junior, and he too is from Connecticut, from Greenwich. <laughs> 20 to 8, Syracuse leading. 10 goals in the first quarter. Kugavan huh. did something. Couple of, to couple draw the flag. Somebody yeah. else did something as well. It'll be 28, I believe. Linklip. Yeah, it's kind of uh, impeding the progress there. He was checking people, and uh, he's going to take a little rest. So now another man up opportunity for Adelphi. So not letting Adelphi move freely on the crease gives him a 30 seconds here to move with an extra man. Let's see if Esposito can come up with a save. This is his first action of the year. Oh, he got I think he got a stick on that. So Esposito deflected it high. I think that would give him a save. Did there. That's a real good one, and he holds on. Dale, I'm looking down the roster. You've got Jamie Archer and now Esposito from Nottingham. A number of James O. DeWitt players. Mr. Burn Reed from the Boston area. The Sprintmeister. Fayetteville Manley is represented. Tully. Jordan Elbridge. Homer, Jordan Elbridge, yeah. It's like a, 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 a Henninger High School. It's like a potpourri of Central New York uh, lacrosse programs. With some uh, guys from Connecticut thrown in. And Here's a move and a score. Nicely done on the play by Mike Whitek, one of those Connecticut products, Wilton, Connecticut. <laughs> so, Whitek, Whitek will pick up a goal. Oh, took a shot on the head on the way down. Syracuse sending in Bob uh, Comas now in the Nets. Esposito departs, allowed one goal, had a couple of saves. Well, see if Comus will get tested. Yes, he will. It'll be a Delphia ball. A Delphia. I knew I was going to say that. A Delphi ball. Oh, another knee there with ice on it. That may be McGowan. Remember? When yeah, he that's McGowan. Yep. And Winship with the hat on. Five and a half minutes to go. This one was really decided in the opening minutes of the game. You have to kind of find a game within the game in an affair like this. You're right. And there's going to be another penalty. This, we'll get back up to their average here if they keep this up. Got a lot of guys in playing aggressively. They don't want to give up any cheap goals. Comus deflected that one. Tell you one thing, these officials uh, aren't in a hurry to catch a train or any uh, dinner <laughs> reservations. They're, they're calling them and blowing those whistles and throwing that laundry. Well, that'll be a, a slash. So it'll be a man up opportunity for a minute. Two uh, five at this point for Adelphi. Syracuse sends out most of their uh, extra man defense now. They're gonna help out Comus and not let him hang out there defenseless. Ball down. Boy, look at that. There's a discrepancy. Shot 67 to 27. My gracious. Oh, 
Lacrosse is a long, long game. If you don't have the legs and the fresh body, yeah. you could be in trouble. You know, it gets down to nice oh. passing and a great nice. shot. And that was set up by a nice pass across the Syracuse zone, and Calabria gets the goal. And Calabria, the leading scorer coming in, I think he's picked up his third of the game, had two before this, and there's a nice pass. And watch Calabria on the cut as he comes around from the back. And they're going to say that it's Calabria's. Oh, he hit the pipe and got it in. Finesse shot. So it's his fourth goal. Well, Adelphi needs one more to become the fourth team to hit double figures against Syracuse. Some crunching hits. DeLillo. Nick Lacamelli in for Syracuse, 36. Defensively, Kugavan in. Link clip. And on the move now is Mastaduno. Rich Mastaduno on the dodge. Shot it wide. Backed up by DeLillo. 347 remaining. Stack up in front of the cage. DeLillo goes low. There's a save. So Comas comes up with one in the save department. And he's going to get a little more action. Schusler applying defense. Comas verbose back there, isn't he? On the move now, Jeff Roos overshoots his man. Bob Comas is a freshman and uh, James Will DeWitt goalie. I think everybody who dressed played in this game. Yeah. And despite all that, they had an injury or two. Now three minutes remaining. Ricky Matthews going to the right hand. Goalie just changed goalies now for on the fly. Jason Fox in for Adelphi and out of your picture. Jason Fox. Will Jason be tested? Here comes Syracuse. Link lift. Fox, a freshman out of Hackensack, New Jersey. He gathers it in. Sends it out. Matthews on the spin away. Furman got it. Double figures for Adelphi. They get their 10th goal on the goal by Furman. So the Syracuse lead is 21 to 10. Matthews gets it down the sideline and Furman number two. There he is. Gets a jump and beats Marcus Morial for Syracuse. Freshman out of James Wilderwood High School. 21 10, two minutes to go. Robertson. Oh, hold. 
John DeLolio is the man who got sandwiched. Yeah, it's just a hold. Good call. Right there. That's really impeding his progress. Yeah, there you go. There's one. Let me just see if I can't rearrange that face mask. <laughs> Draws a lot of attention. So they will be down a minute or 30 seconds. Todd Friedman, the guilty man. Dale, how about a Pepsi player of the game? Whew. That's a, that's a good that's a good question. Oh, nice look. There's another goal by Calabria, his fifth. Calabria piling up the points here. Calabria. So we got him for four now. Four or five. Well, that should have been his fifth if they had him for four before. Well, we have him officially for four. There, I think we're right. Jamie Archer has picked up yeah, three great. assists in this game. High man in that department. He hasn't scored. Marichek with three. Lockwood, Gilmartin, Finn, Bettinger with two apiece. Donegan and Barr have also scored, and Ryder had two. Calabria four, Hall two, Furman, Matthews, Abshire, Robertson, and Aiello have scored one. Calabria getting four goals on eight shots. Maracek has three goals on eight shots. Got the shot off, stay Syracuse. 63 seconds to go. How about Chris Saran? As a candidate. There's one. About Thorpe. Probably would have gotten it at the Hopkins game if we were there, right? <laughs> Syracuse looking for another score. Jason Fox whips it out of there to nobody in particular. Deflected. Shot by what? Ligamelli, I believe. Well, obviously, a concern now for Syracuse will be the health of John Winship. Yeah. He played early, but then, as you saw, he was on the sideline. The final 10 seconds. Twenty one goals the most by Syracuse this year. And that is it. Syracuse wins it 21 to 11. We'll return to the Carrier Dome for some final words right after these messages. Syracuse wins 21 to 11. Dale, you make the choice. The Pepsi player of the game is Thorpe. Reggie Thorpe. Does a great job. Uh, I thought used him on, uh, on face-offs on the wing, came up with some face-offs, plays tough, tough defense and a uh, big stick mini. I think he plays uh, tough every time he goes out on the field. And becoming a fan favorite with each and every game, the junior transfer out of Herkimer Community College. Next up, CW Post against Syracuse here in the Dome. We'll have that one for you on Super Sports. Hope you enjoyed it tonight here in the Carrier Dome. For Dale Drive Poultry, this is Dave Cohen. And this has been a presentation of Super Sports and Adelphia Cable Communications.